Okay, here's my final video of the day, and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave on an up on an up on an up note, and basically, it's going to be about something that's near and dear to my heart. Now, I've uh, the last time I made an, uh, an installment in this edition, it was uh, they were negative, like five trends that um, I'm getting tired of, five game genres that need a rest, you know, stuff like that. Well, here are five franchises that I want to come back, and I would buy the heck out of these games if they came back. And um, as exemplified by certain uh, franchise, by certain games. Okay, number five: Double Dragon and Street and F Final Fight. Sorry, Final Fight. I would love a Double Dragon. Or final, another double dragon and final fight. I would love it. I would love it. Okay. I would love to play a good arcade style beat 'em up, like just beating the hell out of people just for no apparent reason. Because beat 'em ups had that 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 why the hell not that all good games have. Okay. Like the original Final Fight. Okay. The mayor's daughter gets kidnapped. Okay, this is a standard trope in action movies, okay? But the mayor is a former street fighter and pro wrestler. And instead of calling the police <laughs> or the SWAT team, he calls his daughter's boyfriend, his daughter's boyfriend's friend, and himself. Rips his shirt with just the suspenders, and he's going to go out in the streets and beat the hell out of the people who kidnapped his daughter. Final Fight is like an 80s movie. It's like a bad B 80s action movie <laughs> in video game form. But it's so awesome for being so bad, such a bad premise. You know, <laughs> just beat the hell out of everybody. You know, <laughs> you know, and who and who and who and who is going to help the mayor help rescue his daughter? Let's see, a uh, dude. A, a, a professional uh, boxer named Cody, who also happens to be pretty handy with knives, and a friggin' and his best friend, a friggin' ninja. Cause why the hell not? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and that's what good games back in the day possessed. Why the hell not? Even Mario. Think about it. Mario is a handyman slash plumber who for some random reason gets sucked down a pipe and goes to rescue a princess by curb stomping and lighting dudes on fire because that's what he's doing when he jumps on enemies he's curb stomping them and when he throws a fireball he's lighting them on fire <laughs> okay and people call mario kitty <laughs> that why the hell not thing they need to bring that back okay Double Dragon, I would love another Double Dragon. Yes, I would. Number four franchise that I would like to see come back. Gauntlet Legends. Yes. And not the original Sega games that were like, you know, on the Sega with the, with the, that were like, uh, you know, co-op games. I want a return to like those, those Midway ones on the N64 and PlayStation and GameCube. I have the disc right here, see? Gauntlet Legends Dark Legacy. I want I want another game like this or the one on the N64. That's right, I said it. I want a Gauntlet Legends um like that. Okay? You don't have to worry about putting in coins. You go around. It's a great single player game. It's a great multiplayer game. I want that experience again. Make another one, Sega. You own the rights to it. Do it again. Number three. I want another Fantasy Star. And no, not a Fantasy Star online. Not a Fantasy Star multiplayer. I want an old school single player Fantasy Star. That's right. Yes party members, an intricate storyline, weapons, leveling up, all that good stuff. 
Sega, if you can't do that, I'll settle for another Fantasy Star uh, online. But don't make it a subscription. Just a game with online abilities where you go around killing things. Please. Number two. And this is reaching far back. Way, way back. Way, way back. R-Type. I want another R-Type. Or Gradius. Okay? I want a shoot 'em up that's tough as nails, but not a bullet hell. Okay? Where you have a chance of winning, but not like, you know, insane. Okay? Yes. Yes. Number one franchise that I want to see resurrected and come back is I want to see another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. I said it. But I don't want it to be an arcade style beat em up. No, no, no. We've had that. Like, Konami hit the quintessential arcade style beat em ups for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They made the two arcade games, and then they made Turtles in Time. No one's ever going to top that, okay? No one is going to top Konami with that. Because back in the day, Konami knew how to make some good arcade-style beat-em-ups. So instead, I submit this. Make a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game, right? Where, like, they do all the ninja things. You know, climb walls, jump from building to building, fight crime. But put it in, put it in New York City, okay? And Manhattan. And have the turtles basically, like... You can play as any of the turtles, like complete missions, gain points, level up, um, get better weapons. You know, like a like a hybridization between a beat 'em up with RPG elements. Okay, I would buy that. I would buy the hell out of that. And here's my caveat, though: don't use any of the new stuff. I want old school. I want the, the cartoon I grew up with, okay? I want the original theme song. Go get Uncle Phil from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to voice the Shredder. And whoever did Krang, the Renegade Brain from Dimension X, okay? I want Master Splinter to be the mutated uh, Hamato Yoshi. Or, sorry, Yamato Yoshi, whatever. To be Yoshi, okay? That's what I want. So, ending it on a good note, these are the games I want. These are the franchises I want to see come back. With little hints as to how to bring it back. There you go. Thank you and have a good day.